Encryption protects data from unauthorized access. It turns a message or text into a meaningless set of characters. To decrypt such a text, you will need a key that will turn the encrypted message back into readable text. For confidentiality, the key must be known only to the sender and recipient. Modern encryption tools use well-known encryption algorithms, and only the key is kept secret. A key is a binary sequence of a few dozen to hundreds of bits, depending on the algorithm. This scheme is more flexible because if a key is lost, it is enough to replace the key without changing the algorithm. Another area where encryption is often used is protection of data stored on a device. However, there is a fundamental difference between encrypting transferred and stored data. The key must never be stored in the same place as the encrypted data at rest. For this reason, there are two main approaches to encrypting stored data. Generate the key based on a password. Store the key on an external device. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud allows you to configure and manage encryption on Windows and Mac OS devices. Encryption is available in Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Plus and Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Pro. Windows devices are encrypted using BitLocker Drive encryption. BitLocker is a full-fledged encryption system that is included with some MS Windows operating systems starting with Windows Vista. BitLocker is missing from server versions of Windows by default, but you can install it there if necessary. BitLocker encrypts information by logical partitions. If the Windows partition needs to be encrypted, the bootloader and other system components must be saved on another system partition, which will remain unencrypted. Kaspersky Endpoint Security is compatible with BitLocker on all Windows versions where it can be installed. Without Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud, BitLocker is managed by group policy objects, GPOs. GPOs do not permit the enabling or disabling of encryption manually, but they may conflict with the encryption settings of Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud. We recommend that you disable BitLocker management in GPOs to prevent conflicts with Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud allows you to adjust some BitLocker settings. More often than not, the default settings do not need to be changed, but sometimes fine-tuning can solve an incompatibility issue or improve performance. Enable the use of BitLocker authentication on Windows tablets. This parameter permits using pre-boot authentication on tablets and other devices that do not have a keyboard. If this option is enabled, a virtual keyboard will be used for authentication. Hardware encryption improves performance because encryption and decryption utilizes a dedicated encryption chip built into the hard drive instead of the CPU. Authentication by using Trusted Platform Module, TPM, BitLocker can store its encryption key either simply on the drive, encrypted, password protected, or on a special motherboard chip, Trusted Platform Module. When Kaspersky Endpoint Security Services receive the command to enable BitLocker, a window opens where the user must enter a pre-boot authentication password. The specified password will be bound to the device rather than to the current user or any other accounts used on the computer. As soon as BitLocker receives the password, it generates a recovery key for the volume. Kaspersky Endpoint Security sends the recovery key to the Kaspersky Endpoint Security Server so that the disk can be decrypted if the operating system malfunctions. To get the recovery key, you will need to contact Kaspersky support. After creating the recovery key, BitLocker prompts the user to restart the device and checks the system to make sure that encryption and decryption will go smoothly. At the first system start after encryption is enabled, BitLocker prompts the user for the password. If the password is entered correctly, BitLocker begins encrypting the disk when the system starts. If the user presses escape, BitLocker presumes that something went wrong and encryption will not begin after the system starts. The user can cancel encryption only before it starts. After encryption begins, the system will only start once you enter the BitLocker password. Devices running macOS use FileVault drive encryption. When the Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Administrator enables encryption on Mac devices, the users are prompted for their usernames and passwords. Encryption will start after a user enters the credentials and restarts the device. Encryption takes place in the background. When the encryption completes and Mac restarts, the user will need to enter the username and password to start the device.